there, Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Kim. I'm here to do your weekly reading the uh, 13th through the 19th, March. And um, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and your comments. I appreciate all the support I can get. If you'd like a private reading, check the description box below. Also, I'll be starting a Patreon page soon that will have four members. Only um, one fee, small fee a month will get you extended readings. So, all right, let's begin. Let's begin calling in Pisces angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages there for the greater good for the week of 13th through the 19th. All right, what is the issue for Pisces? Issue for Pisces? Ace of Cups, brand new beginning, something that's very emotionally fulfilling. Let's look at the challenge. Ooh, there's a lot of people getting that challenge. So this is a brand new beginning where you're gonna try to prove yourself. You're gonna prove something to you. Um, not be independent, like not be, what am I trying to say? Not be codependent. Even if you're still in a relationship, that's fine. Um, but the goal here is to become independent. Uh, waiting for maybe a windfall of money to come in. You might be dealing with a winning, like a uh, lottery winning, or you might be dealing with um, and like an inheritance or something. So that's all going to be different for everyone. Let's see what the root, like the heart of the matter is for this Ace of Cups. The Harmony, because you're lonely right now. You're lonely or something is lacking. With the Hermit, part of Virgo. Let's look in the past position for you. Whoa. Okay, the universe, the world. Waiting on a new chapter to begin in the past. And maybe we started this. In the card, it's like the world card. This woman is ascending on the card. And so the new experience that's coming up is going to be one... Uh, of a higher vibration, something that's a little bit like a step up from what she had been do doing. So let's look at the present situation. All right, present situation, Six of Cups and the Fool. Has to do either with a soulmate or family issues. There's a brand new start to something. So this is the new thing. It can be about a new beginning and something you have to take a leap of faith, such as a child or a new job or a new relationship, something like that. A new beginning for these issues right here is going to bring a lot of good change. What is the near future card? Could be dealing with an Aries, a water sign, a Virgo. Coming to a peaceful resolution with the Two of Swords in the near future, there will be a peaceful resolution. The ability to make a decision where it's been kind of stalled for a while. How are you feeling? Powerful. You're feeling the Four of Pentacles, and in this deck, that means powerful. It means you're building and investing on this. This is what your focus is. It was going to start here. It has started here, and now you're feeling like it's growing and something is good. Wanting to invest your time, maybe efforts and investments like in money, too. What's your external circumstance? Pisces, this is looking extremely good for you. Two of Pentacles. This is good balance. Balance and clarity. 2-2, two, two, change, it means change in this card. What's the hopes and fears? Whew. Okay, hopes that you'll just know that you've made the right, I think you're questioning whether you made the right gut instinct, and I think you have. And here is defending for yourself, standing up for others too. Let's look at the outcome, projected outcome. Oh, look at that, four of wands, I love it. I love it, don't worry, everything's working out, it's gonna be great. All right. Ooh, I don't want to look at that. Let's get some other cards. Let's get some guardian angel cards for you. Okay, for Pisces. We have angel of happiness. Whenever you thought happiness was exiting your life or would never come back, realize that angels are here to say, no, you're going to get back to that happiness and even greater happiness than what you had in the past. Let's see here. Let's get a wisdom from the oracle card too and then some tea leaves and we'll wrap up. For Pisces, two. Two cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Let's see what they are. There are no place like home and yin. 
right now, time for passive action. You don't have to do anything at the moment. This is all coming in for you. Maybe you're uh, rebuilding a home like setting with somebody. Or maybe you're visiting back home. It, it's either of those. Either of those. All right, tea leaves. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. That might be that new beginning, new start. Dogs, getting together with friends. Yeah, celebration right here. Milestones, the marriage card too. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I think that was in the past. Carriage, a journey either physical or mental. This new beginning. And last but not least, harp, great happiness. There we go, twice on the happiness. All right, Pisces, thank you. Um, you all have a lovely week and sending you much love and light. Bye-bye.